found another one. Oh my gosh, we found another one, y'all. Oh, it just came. It just popped up on my feet. Oh God, good. I don't even know what I was getting on here to look at, bro. Oh my God, yeah, we finna react to this for the night. For the night over with. What time is it? Yeah, bro. Uh, oh yeah, YouTube people. I know y'all seeing this way. I don't know when this video released. I I I react to a bunch of videos in one night. So when y'all see me in the same outfit, bro, chill on me, bro. Damn. But uh, anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to you, boy. And if y'all want to see me do this shit live, then come over to Twitch. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, Twitch. I got a little motion on YouTube. Get I'm getting a little motion on YouTube. Yeah, so it is what it is. But we found the metal. We we just reacted to the one earlier with a uh, flat top chicken. Let's see who this nigga. Let's see who this nigga. I wanna. Yo, what is up, you guys? Today we're gonna be. This nigga name is um. Blakeev reacts. All right, let's subscribe to him. At, uh, is he reacting to flat top chicken? Did he did he reacted to what we just reacted to? Is he? Nerdy nigga. Oh, he is, bro. He reacted to the original video. Okay. <laughs> bro, hopefully I can meet these niggas one day, bro. <laughs> Watching Let's 30 black men get no love. Um, I will say one thing. This is true. <laughs> See, what I tell y'all, bro. What I tell y'all, bro. It's true, bro. Like, it's fucking true. <laughs> and go back to trauma. Where you around at the beginning, bro? It's true, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put y'all on game, bro. <laughs> so uh, I want to see what his perspective is and how he. Uh, see, it's about. I want, I want to see what he says. Perspective, about it, uh, bro. I think this is true, but I have my thoughts about it as it's well. It's perspective. I need to release these videos. God, please, future me. I don't know YouTube if you watch it. Please, if y'all have if. If I re if I released both videos at the same time, please, please, please let me know I did good. Oh my gosh, bro! I hope I re I gotta release the video. I gotta remember to release the other video first before this one. So oh that's my what I've god! Been the past two months. Anyways, a couple of weeks ago, I came across this Twitter thread, and when I saw it, I knew I had to talk about it because it related to me personally. Now, me and Twitter have a love-hate relationship. On okay. One okay. Hand, okay. 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 This is the original video. This is the original video, so we get to see what. So wait, do we need to release this video first, and then the? Oh man, the future. My future timeline finna be fucking fucked up, bro. Oh my god. People alive are on Twitter, but on the other True. hand, some of the dumbest people alive are on Twitter. But over the years, I've learned how to balance it out because you gotta do that if you want to be on Twitter and not lose brain cells. And very few tweets move me to the point to where I feel I have to make a video on them. Like it is my duty, my calling to talk about this. Here's the tweet in question. Now, upon initial contact, this tweet was a bit of an eyebrow raiser for reasons that will become evident later. However, I decided to dig a little deeper okay. and take a trip to this person's Twitter bio. Now, I'm, I'm showing you their bio because I want you oh, to Oh no, this is a major <laughs> red flag. She got 24,000 people. Oh my god, damn, my headphones oh came under. My headphones came under. I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, damn, damn. Oh no, this is a major red flag. She got 24,000 people. Oh yeah. Only fans automatically. Ha! <laughs> 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 Why? Why is it universal, bro? They fans automatically. It, this is this is like a red flag and everything. For the type Oof. of people who post stuff like this, I want you to get a feel for the type of people who post stuff like this. Uh, I, I I want you to get a feel oh. for the type of people. Y'all, I went to her Twitch account to see what kind of game she streams, and I came across this. I just got to put it in here because this shit is humorous. Hello. You don't cut the video? Oh my god. I'm not understanding. She should have cut this. She should have cut this. You should have. You should have. You should have. You picking up what? Oh, you should have cut that. Oh, yeah. No, you should have. That shit should have been butchered. <laughs> oh my god. 
I love the damn fucking bimbo. Oh, right, no, I'm just I'm putting down. Let me show you one more example. I got edit that don't out. have to travel far because it is a top reply at the bottom of the original tweet. Like I said before, I, I just want you to get a feel for the kind of people who <laughs> post. Now, the problem that I have with this oh tweet isn't that it's a couple God of girls trying to boost their subscribers. I always gotta eat too. The problem that I have with this tweet is that it's all cap. <laughs> because if you've grown up as a nerdy black dude, as I have, you would know that black women would not touch you with a 10 foot pole. But I Bro, thank God somebody said this shit, bro. Cause I was about to say, bro, I I don't remember a single fucking bad, like woman, like actually, ever encountering me or any nerdy black dudes I ever hang out with. Like it never happened, or even nerdy people in general. To be honest, if we're being like not stereotypical, I don't talk about that later. And go back to the trauma, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I'm putting y'all on game, bro. I'm giving y'all good, good game right now. Trauma, bro. If we heal the trauma in the black community, because this shit is real, bro. We cannot all be saying the same thing if it don't exist. And we're not talking about y'all new, y'all new nerdy niggas that y'all new pandemic niggas. Y'all is not in this, bro, because y'all is shooting hoops we was out here wearing Naruto head, bro. <clears throat> I used to DJ with my Naruto headband, bro. To this day, I, I still I still pull it out every now and again to DJ. But I used to DJ with my Naruto headband, bro. And like folks, like it was niggas, it was the hood niggas fucked with it because they knew what it was from. But you know what I'm saying? That was like one of my things. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like, I was DJ all in Atlanta with that shit on, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy, like, how far that head been and got me. But, for real, it's true. Stop. I gotta, I think I should release this video. No, I gotta release the other video first. Because I, it's a, that's a thorough video to go through. Because I'm speaking facts. Because this video not gonna make sense until they watch the other video. Later. Back to the tweet. It was so True. bad that somebody started a separate Twitter thread where they asked If you're a black woman that likes nerdy men, comment, quote, retweet this so that the dusties can stop that narrative already. Black women to post their nerdy black boy. He gotta be on a, he gotta be watching from a small monitor. Boyfriends. And all that Twitter thread ended up being was black women posting their conventionally attractive boyfriends who just so happened to be in the nerdy stuff. Now, I will admit that there was a few couples in there that truly were just two nerds falling in love. But what made the tweet even funnier was that in that thread, a couple of black women were getting exposed for lusting after white men in the past. And all I got to say about that is... Which there's no problem with that. I'm gonna say there's no problem with that, but... Kind of defeats the point. Those in glass houses. What I tell you? <laughs> what I tell y'all, bro? <laughs> should not throw stones. Now, here comes the part where I talk about my personal experience on this topic. I don't know if you realize it yet, but I myself, I myself am a black nerd. I am an African American male who possesses unconventional. And I'm so glad he showed Childish Gambino because what Childish Gambino used to rap about the same shit, bro. Go listen to his first. Oh my God, go listen to his mixtapes, bro. And he used to rap about this shit about being a nerd and nobody gave him no play play except who? White women who just liked him for him, for being himself. And that's the thing. When we realize that we get motion for being ourselves around other people, Bro, that's what it is, bro. That's really what it is. Bro, I don't care. I really don't care, though. Bro, I can be an advocate for this shit, bro. Like, bro, it goes back to trauma, bro, and what you've seen growing up. And people may tell you to get rid of that shit. Yes, you do have to heal. Yes, you do have to, like, come to terms with the past and let it go. But it made you who you was. That makes you who you are. Your trauma makes you. Your trauma shapes you. And so once you acknowledge what it is, it just is what it is. A lot of nerdy niggas, like my boy right here, uh, what, what down here, uh, what's his name? I didn't get his. I forgot his name already. Um, Blakeev, flat top, bro. If y'all ever see this video, you got a friend in me, my boy. I understand. 
from both sides, actually, because I have been both sides. I've I'm been on the both both spectrum, both parameters of the nerdy shit, and then being around hood niggas just just get you some play. I've seen both sides, so I understand. But me as a whole, as my person, like when I have my glow up, bro, I understand. But at the end of the day, the trauma when when the black community gets together and just acknowledge the true trauma that this really that this really caused a lot of men and like truly like let them vent and like you see their point of view a lot of shit would be good because we personally don't really give a fuck a lot of us i'm pretty sure my nigga blicky probably get bitches now i'm sure flat top probably get some bitches now i know i get bitches so it's just like at the end of the day bro we truly really don't care but it, it's a real thing. And I like, like my little cousin was going through the shit. And now he got him some motion. And it's just like, I see, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Just acknowledge it, bro. And don't stop being so quick to be defensive. Maybe because you didn't date. Maybe because you date uh, nerdy niggas or whatever. Not to the same, you probably didn't. Just being real. Or you was the quiet girl in the corner that didn't say nothing. So it's just like, when folks acknowledge it for what it is and truly get to the root of it, shit will be better. But it's not going to get better. Hobbies such as anime and video games. I'm not going to use the term yep. blurred because I think that yep. shit sounds fucking stupid. I've been playing video games and watching anime since I was in grade school. I got a bad. Yeah. I just, I just rebought a CRT, bro. Just the bro. Oh my gosh, bro. I just rebought a CRT, bro. I just bought. Not the PlayStation, bro. If y'all see my fucking desk, bro, y'all be like, you fucking dweeb. Oh my gosh. Like, I can't wait to set my room up like this. Like, because I don't have the space for it. I have to make more space. Like, my drawers are filled with games right now. Like, these drawers, like, the top is filled with, like, t-shirts. But all, everything else is games. It's game collection. It's games and anime account, everywhere. Rare retro games so I can add them to my collection. I, I really do this nerd. And I can say. I really do this nerd. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get a t shirt with that, man. I really do this nerd shit, bro. That's a hard quote. After 20 years of being a nerd, being a nerd has never gotten me any pussy whatsoever. No woman in the history of ever has ever wanted to date me because I told her I like Inuyasha or Cowboy Bebop or Dr Now, I will say this I have gotten a bitch to fuck with me because I was a nerd. But she was a nerd too, and I didn't know that until we had graduated. And I, bruh, I, bruh. So yes, it, it is possible, but you just gotta talk game to the right girl. It, it, she just gotta be the right one. If she into that shit, bruh, it's, it, it can happen, bro. Like, I, I am proof of that shit happening. And then, oh my, I ain't even gonna tell that story. But anyway, just know. It's possible, especially if she fucking with you, bro. Dragon Ball Z. No woman has ever thrown it back on me because I told her I like going to arcades. So it's so <laughs> sad too, because now we're living in a in an era where anime is like so mainstream and shit. Like I remember kids back then that watch anime, bro. They would get ridiculed or bullied. Like I had a whole kid. I was friends with a whole kid that grew up and committed suicide because he literally like Gundam anime. Yes, dude. Oh my god, bro. Is that a that is sad? Like, is that a is that a thing we all have to go through? Like, I know somebody who got bro, he he was they talk shit about him for like an anime and everything, and he killed himself. Bro, that is fucking crazy. That is fucking wild now. I am having goosebumps at this point. That is crazy, bro. I that do like bro. RP Tracy, bro. If he could see what the world is now, bro, man, these bitches would be on his dick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I still remember that whole story. That shit was fucked. Like, that kid was bullied on the back. It was crazy. I, like, we hung out. Like, I knew him. Like, we, we had a mutual friend, bro. Like, we used to play Halo together, bro. Like, and they used to dog that man, bro. So, like, I, I seen, I seen somebody go through shit like that, bro. And that, and that shit carried over. And he did not live long enough to see shit change bro and that's the type of shit that like p 
people like me who like got ridiculed and talked about back in the day about this shit and now we see it's cool that's the problem that bothers us because we didn't have people that that, that committed suicide we didn't have friends that then got just just dog dogged on the internet for like an anime and shit like that and people don't acknowledge it now and that's the that's that and that and i'm getting passionate about it i'm getting heated about it now because bro like that that shit is real bro and like a lot of us don't a lot of us don't don't deal with that trauma correctly and that's the sad part and people like me who don't I done grew up and then seen it and, 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 and like, bro, like I cut off my own family members. They used to talk about me, about liking anime and the dweeb shit and, and for being in the band. I cut off my own family members, bro. My mom was alive. She would like, she would be furious at me not being like, not, she will not be mad at me. She'd be mad at them for like how everything done played out in life, bro. Like I don't, it's uncles. I don't talk to because of this shit, bro. And it's sad that it's that deep, but it's so real how fucked up our community was to people like us just for liking different shit, bro. And now that it's cool, it's supposed to just go away. No, that's not how life works, bro. I got family members that I don't talk about, and they like this shit now. That's the, And that's even more fucked up. They like this shit now, bro. When they, bro, oh my God. And it, and you, y'all made people on YouTube, y'all made they feel like... I got some deep rooted pain and stuff. I done dealt with my trauma. I'm healed. I'm just it's 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 the realization that I want people to see that, that shit is real, bro. Like we just didn't get talked about. We went through the mud about that shit. All because of some different shit that we like. All because we like the show over watching basketball and shit. And I still watch sports and stuff. But my Friday nights was fucking Inuasha and fucking Voltron and Sailor Moon and all that shit. That's just what I loved going, watching stuff after skatering and shit. Like, it's just, it's just crazy that, like, now we're in, in a time where it's just acceptable. And we got real friends and stuff or people we done seen that killed themselves over shit like this, bro. And it's just like, bro like stop denying people's trauma just because you didn't do it or you didn't see it don't 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 take away the fact bro and 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 that's my whole thing it's just like bro like that's sad bro oh my gosh like he just hit he just hit a nerve oh my god he hit a nerve bro us every single day because he like gundam anime bro and and i went to middle school with this dude he used to come he used to come to school and he, me and him not friends no more, but I remember he, he the one, he used to come to school with a, a, a model, a Gundam like this. I think it was the R, the RX. He used to come to school with a model Gundam like this. And people would talk about it. His nickname was literally Gundam. He gave me my first model kit because I liked Gundam. Like, I was like, bro, that's cool, bro. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I didn't know. At the time, you had to import them back in the day. And... Everybody used to talk shit about him, bro. Everybody used to talk shit about him. And guess what? Now he done glowed up and he his baby mama white. And he date he 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 with her. Uh they got two or two or three kids now. He he living his best life. But it's just like that that pushed him away. And he used to try to talk to all these black girls shit. And it's just so fucked up how they used to do him, bro. And it's some real shit that like people go through and then they get mad when we get older and shit and and a lot of a lot of nerd niggas resent resent folks and 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 they get mad bro like they like a lot of dudes don't know how to handle their trauma shit granted mental health is like getting more acceptable now but you gotta think back then wasn't nothing wrong with you you pray it away or, or let it go or you just or, or you created anger issues and shit and a lot of folks went through some real shit over this anime and video game shit and now that it's super cool and stuff it's just like it's just a it's a lot of niggas like that's in my age group think it's weird and it's just like nah bro i remember what y'all used to say and it's because we done seen some shit bro and y'all may be like damn y'all ain't go through nothing 
for anime and video game stuff, bro. It's just anime and video game. Yeah, it's that to y'all now, bro. But back then, that was like, bro, that was worse than liking. Bro, it was more acceptable to date a trans back then than it was like anime and video games. Some people, in some people's eyes, for real, like to be for real with you. And I'm not like trying to like say anything about trans folks, but it's just like, hell, a dude could be a, a gay dude will be more accepted than it, it, it's just some weird shit bro like it's just weird that it was like looked at how it was you know what i'm saying i'm trying to find a good analogy but and, and i know it's not coming off right to y'all especially youtube niggas but it's a, it's some real shit behind some of this stuff bro You're for right, real like around like I and i wish more people had you know sources of like more ways to deal with their trauma but a lot of folks don't get that don't get that chance. Like my my friend killed herself, and it's just like it just sucks. He's like freshman year of high school. Like he just they, the parents were like, yeah, he just committed suicide. You know, he just couldn't take it no more. And I was like, damn, damn, like, like bro, like now like people just love anime. Like it's it's freaking mainstream now. But back in the day when I was like in middle school or like. Um, you know, saying watch anime and stuff. People used to make fun of you, bro. Like people used to make fun of you. Even the bad bitches. They <laughs> made fun of everybody. They did, bro. <laughs> like anime, bro. He's thinking it's crazy, bro, because like how could you make fun of somebody watching Gundam, bro? Like Gundam is like was sick. That's cr that's some crazy shit, dude. Like I I don't know, bro. That's crazy. It, it it's just it's it's changed so much, bro. I, th I think it's just changed so much because now everybody likes anime, which is like just weird. Damn, <laughs> bro! Like, I what I say, bro, niggas, like in my age group, it's weird because, bro, like if I was young in this generation, now, oh my God, bro, it'd be a totally different story, bro. But damn, bro. Damn. A woman has never had to wring out her panties because I told her I had a collection of PS2 games. It's just never happened. On the real though, could you imagine that? Hey girl, I play video <laughs> games, I watch anime, and I got a big, juicy, thick PS2 collection. <laughs> what is wrong with never got nigga, me bro? Just just I'll tell you what it did get me though. It got me flamed and ridiculed often until about the beginning of... Dude, I remember in basketball camp. I gotta tell this story. I remember in <laughs> it took him back in the nerve, bro. <laughs> Let's listen to the story, bro. In basketball camp, right? I was in middle school, and my dad put me in the mag in Michael Johnson's camp. This was like all the way in Orlando, like back in like the church where they they used to have like the basketball courts and shit. And basically, I was listening to like fairy tale openings. This is when I used to love fairy tale. All right, I used to like because of the first season. Ain't nothing wrong with fairy tale, bro. I still, I still, hey, bro, I still love fairy tale, bro. The shit over with, bro. Well, no, I know that the manga still going on, like, at a, what, a hundred years after, whatever, some bullshit. And the first season of fairy tale was, like, phenomenal. Everybody can agree to that. But, like, I was just... The whole series is phenomenal, but th th I'm getting off, I'm getting off such. The opening, and I was like, damn, like, this is fire. I accidentally played it full volume out loud, bro. And everybody, everybody in that damn camp was looking at me like, what the fuck is this nigga on? <laughs> I just, I just, no. <laughs> bro, I just. Are you in basketball? Come on, no, he got playing. Oh, like, my. What, what's wrong with him? He, he weird, bro. Like, he weird. Everybody started laughing at me, bro. <laughs> I got fucking laughed at. The worst part is I didn't even notice until like. I think it took me like a couple of seconds to like find out that I was, it was playing out loud. And I was like, damn, bro. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like shit. I feel so bad. But I do say this the fairy tale, old fairy tale, was like way better. The new shit is like, it's whack. It, it sucks. I, I can't even, I, I, I don't even follow it. <laughs> high school no joke i got called gay for nearly a whole semester after i mentioned that i played video games damn think I'm making this up this happened in eighth grade now with this in mind you can imagine how surprised wait i thought it was dragon ball z so he got called gay for video games damn 
damn, that's fucked up. Not not video games. Like I, I we like what he say in the other videos from Dragon Ball Z. Like he was supposed to get a pass for Dragon Ball Z, but video games as a whole. Like God damn, bro. Folks knew I played video games, but some some folks called, but like some folks will call me gay, but not for, for the whole, bro. The whole semester. It's worse in middle school than it is in high school. I'm not gonna lie. The bullying in middle school is like absolutely atrocious. School began to come out different. The dude I told you that would bring a gun into school was in that was all middle school shit, bro. Like, damn. Out of the woodwork just a few years later talking about how much they love nerdy men Ooh, i love me a guy who likes anime now and that's the problem bro it's always the attractive nerdy girls that be like oh i love nerdy men no you don't you stupid bitch you fucking liar shut up shut your bitch ass up you lying <laughs> like you're lying people they like attractive dudes who like who are into nerdy adjacent things like bruh prime example my one of my good friends He's the he a football player, right? The most girls he dated were nerds, bro. That's the fucked up part. And the nigga only knew the shit from. What? What up, KJ? What you been up to, my boy? He he only knew the shit from when we was younger. When he when we would hang out and so, stuff like we hung out all through high school. We still hang out now, every now and then when he get some free time. But like he like my my football friends dated the most nerdy nerdy women, bro. Are trying to rewrite history and say people didn't get bullied yeah i can't after this anime. that's a lie bro they did get bullied bro i got <laughs> bullied bro i i literally got anally fucked for liking anime i'm kidding i didn't get raped i not not bro yes every bro us nerdy niggas all went through the same shit bro like that's it's so bro it, like i i promise y'all bro we not making this up bro like crazy shit but like i'm just saying like figuratively like i'm just saying like i got fucked for watching that shit <laughs> it's like oh uh, niggas is cat bro if they're if they're really saying that people didn't bully people for watching anime you're a fucking liar bro i could pull up old stories and shit about a bunch of kids just killing themselves for liking anime like i i like it's it's it was so bad Bro, you didn't get bullied for like an anime. You got bullied because you Naruto ran in the hallways and tried to go super saiyan. Grant, listen, and that's another thing I hate. None of, bro, I didn't. I, they always try to say we did that shit. It was the whole fucking white nerds that did that shit. We knew them, but I, bro, we already knew what it was in the black community. Why the fuck would we be Naruto running in? Like, really think about it, black folks. Really, really think about it. Why would black nerds run through the hallways, Naruto running in front of y'all when we know it's over with, bro? Why would we try to turn Dragon Ball Z in front of y'all, bro? That is that don't make sense. That's illogical, bro. I don't care what you say, bro. We did not do that shit, bro. Now I know a nigga that <laughs> made a video like this. I wish I could find it, bro. Seeing in the middle of class. Bro, that was like that was like zero point two percent of the motherfuckers that like that. <laughs> bro, how you gonna tell me what happened to me? How you gonna tell me I didn't get called gay for liking Dragon Ball Z? That's the also worst true. Offenders of this revisionist history camp. Oh, so he did get. So it was both Dragon Ball Z and video games. All the girls up. who want to sit there and tell you, oh. Y'all didn't like us back in high school. Y'all always went after all of the white girls. Hold up, let me get this straight. So you're telling me that as hard as it was back then to find a girl, let alone a black girl who was into nerdy stuff, nerdy black men was just out here curving nerdy girls left and right? Man, this is some- Don't make no- that don't shit don't even add up. And don't add up. I guarantee you nerdy girls were not making themselves known. Not to us. Just, bruh, it was- I'm still friends with the two nerdy girls that sat next to me in middle school because they saw me reading in you Asha, bro. I am still friends with them to this day. And you mean to tell me we was just ignoring y'all? That shit, this that shit is illogical. They was not making themselves known, bro. I wish I was getting approached by some nerdy black girls back in high school and uh, middle school. In my entire school career, I only knew three black girls who was into nerdy shit. To be fair, bro, I didn't like none of the nerdy black girls in my school. They were kind of uh, a little off. What I tell y'all in the previous video? What I tell y'all in the previous video? 
nerdy girls was not having no motion. They wasn't saying anything. They was in the back or they wasn't letting their stuff be known. You know what I'm saying? And then what's crazy, they probably let themselves known to him or he probably just figured out way later they was nerdy. But me, I'm the type of nigga, if I find out you like anime, I'm finna fuck with you some kind of way. That's just me. Like, they did not make themselves known. Not to me, at least. If they made themselves known to him and he didn't find them attractive, give him a pass. So he should have hollered at. He should have made, he should have hollered at some of them, though. That's easy. That's, you, that's buckets right there. I, I, I can't lie. They was a little off. Also, they just, I wasn't attracted to them. I'll just say it like that. <laughs> I, I'd be like, damn, like, there's a female talking to me, and then I see them. Yeah. Everything would just shrink. I'm not gonna go any further than that, though. One of them used to bully me, the other one friend zoned me, and the third one moved away. Now, two out of three of those girls are dating white guys now, but that's besides the point. All I'm saying is, Always dirty happens. black girls, Told dirty you. girls in general, they was not just popping up out of thin air back in the day like y'all say they were. If anything, the nerdy girls were the ones who were going after other dudes, because there was always this weird phenomenon that happened in high school where almost none of the nerdy guys had girlfriends, but almost all of the nerdy girls had boyfriends. Look, back in the day, it was a drought for nerdy dudes. I I remember back in high school when we had this esports club, right? This is around the time all the freshmen, like all of the new freshmen that started joining the esports club, right? There was this one girl out of like 10, maybe 12 dudes. Anytime she would walk in the classroom, she just had a legion of dudes flocking her. She wasn't even that attractive. Like she had teeth that looked like picket fences. Like her teeth were throwing <laughs> up gang signs. They were going in like all sorts. But this proves a lot of the points that like people make in like the red pill community. Like you could be a female and you could be an ugly female and like still get attention. But like, if you're just a man in general, bro, you're not going to get shit. It's damn what that is true. That is true. Weird how that works though. I'm not going to lie. It's the opposite directions. It was and like, I don't even like agreeing with the red pill, blue pill niggas, bro. That shit. Them niggas. Is, I know I'll be reacting to the shit. I know y'all be watching me because of it, but. A lot of that shit, bro, I just be like, I just be chilling, reacting to it. But a lot of the shit them niggas be saying is true, and it make a, a bunch of sense. It was crazy, but for some odd reason, she always had this legion of dudes around her. So to anybody who says, uh, you just didn't want us. Shut your goddamn ass up. That's all we wanted back then. All we wanted was to be able to play Budokai Tenkaichi 2 with our little boo thing right next to us. But we couldn't get that. It was hard out here for nerds. And then you got people who just get nasty with it. I saw this one dude on Twitter say, you didn't get bullied because you watched anime. You were just a horrible person. Uh, uh, I can't believe that <laughs> watching Inuyasha on Dragon Ball Z on Saturday nights on Toonami made me such a horrible person. How could I have been so blind? Man, compared to me, King Von must have been a saint, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> why he do that, bro? RP King Von, bro. Now, we not from 63rd, bro. People who said we didn't get bullied for liking anime, I gotta agree with them to an extent. We didn't get bullied for liking anime. We got bullied for liking anime while being ugly. It's about time somebody <laughs> told the truth on this subject, so I guess I gotta be the one to do it. I hate this topic mainly because it's so dishonest. Women, be honest. You do not like nerds. You like conventionally attractive dudes who just so happen to be in the nerdy stuff. Seriously, can you recall a time where a man has gotten you soaked by telling you that he's read Berserk five times? I didn't think so. You met a guy. They probably won't even know what Berserk is. That you found it. Nah, it's like, not. Nah, they, nah, they, they know what Berserk is now, bro. I don't know. DreamCon kind of showed me a bunch of shit that I ain't like. I ain't know they was they was that deep, bro. They, the they know what Berserk is because they wanna, they, they wanna know what to talk about on their OnlyFans. I'm just being real. Into was merely a bonus. You already wanted to date him. In my 20 years of living, I've never heard a woman tell another girl, girl, he was fine. But he wasn't into anime. Can you believe that? I told him, uh-uh, I can't do this. My I never man heard has of it. got never, to be into anime. It. He's got to be watching Inuyasha, Yu Yu Hakusho, Cowboy Bebop. I've seen nerdy women date men who aren't even remotely nerdy. You want to know why they still dated him? Because they 
found them attractive. So women, stop lying and saying that you like nerds. You don't. Ugly people have it rough. When you're ugly, everything you do is deemed weird and unappealing. There's a reason it took anime. That is true. Like, if you ugly, you can't do shit in the world. But if you... And that go back to the original video. Why do black men have to do so much for black women to accept us, bruh? That's, and that's the root of the problem, bruh. Like, as soon as we see that we get motion elsewhere, we're just going to be happy elsewhere. Why do black men have to do all this stuff for black women to like us when other people just like us for us, bruh? It sucks, bruh. It fucking sucks this long to go mainstream even though anime's been out since like the 1980s that yeah, it took like i think it took like almost like two decades <laughs> for that to happen right or i think a half a decade i don't remember it took it took it took a while it took like like 15 years or something it's because attractive know. people started like no like anime anime got popular because of the pandemic had nothing to do with years like Anime was so low key, and then Netflix just had a couple of shit, and niggas was at home during the pandemic and had nothing else to watch because they watched all the shit, and then they got recommended, they got recommended either, either Attack on Titan or they got recommended fucking Demon Slayer, and that's what a lot of these niggas, the groups they fall on, they watch shit like Demon Slayer or they watch shit like Attack on Titan, and that just is what it is, bro. Had nothing to do with trauma. This anime was never gonna get if the pandemic wouldn't have happened anime would never have been popular it still would be a niche culture i get and it's still niche like people don't uh, like i said in another video people don't watch anime unless it's pretty looks pretty and it's done by certain companies and that's what's happening in the anime community but go back to the previous video to see me explain all that and i ain't finna explain it in this one but liking anime and when people like megan the stallion and michael b jordan started coming out talking about how much they like anime that's when anime started to become mainstream if these celebrities weren't talking about anime anime would have never seen the light of day it would have remained they was talking about it then the pandemic the pandemic happened and then they had to sit down and they had to sit down and they had no choice but to give it a chance underground and people would still be getting bullied for liking dragon ball z so the thing is i find funny too is that mainstream like anime that goes into like the mainstream thing now is like now it's like changing like i remember we used to have anime that used to show like crazy fan service and shit but like we don't even get that no more or at least like it's like the bare minimum of it because the cancel culture and shit I mean, yeah, they, they be censoring a lot nowadays. So if nobody's going to say it, I'm going to be the one to say it. There is a difference. That's true. Like, they all cater to the West. Granted, I don't like uh, I don't like fan service in anime. I think it's weird. But uh, they, they're, they're trying to please the Western audiences now. And it's just like, they're so scared of cancel culture and stuff because so many people is in the anime now. And, that, and like, look what's happening in the Marvel movie. Same shit, bro. It's between a nerd and a conventionally attractive man who happens to like nerdy things. Yes. You want proof? I'll show you proof. There's proof in the very thread that I was talking about earlier about all of the girls going through and just posting their conventionally attractive man who just so happened to be in the nerdy stuff. Look at this right here. Look at how sad this is. This man posted his selfie talking about how he needs his confidence boost. Somebody posted in the comments, man, you better go find it. <laughs> On top of that, where's all of the black women who say they like nerdy black men? If it was true that you like nerdy black men, y'all should be running this man's DMs up. Look, even he knows what's up. In the name of all that is holy, y'all gotta stop lying to these men, okay? Just tell them the truth. Like, seriously, it's, it's getting sad at this point. So, in conclusion, black women, listen, you can lie to me and you can lie to your mama, but you can't lie to yourself. You do not like nerds. You like sexy ass men who just so happen to be in the nerdy things. We not mad at that. We know that. Just admit it. There's no need to lie about it. So, yeah, like I said before, I got a longer video in the works. It should be done pretty soon. I've been working on this thing for about at, at least three months, maybe even longer. Damn. But, yeah, just stick around for that. I might have another short, you know, video of me just ranting about something that might come out in between that and the long video i don't know we'll see anyways videos over funny part is too is like it's not even just black girls either it's it's i think it's all females too like if they find out you like something they, they'll just think it's weird especially anime anime was like the biggest pet peeve for people back in the day like like, I still remember in my middle school years when people just blatantly just bullying mofos. Like, it, it was crazy, bro. Like, honestly, it was disgusting. Ooh, wee. I'm so glad that era's over.
also rest in peace to that kid um, that did kill himself because of anime. I feel mortally bad for him. He, uh, Jesus Christ. All right. Yep. Uh, same shit over here. Uh, I think I need to release this video second. But, uh, yeah, if y'all haven't seen me react, if y'all haven't seen the first video, go watch the first video that I talked about this same shit. But, uh, y'all go fuck with, fuck with Cuz. He got more motion than me. How many, how many views he got on this video? Okay, we get the same time, amount of views. Okay, okay, okay. We can be friends. Uh, Blakey. Hey, let's, let's start the new, uh, nerdy nigga AMP, bro. Blakey, flat top chicken, bro. Come holler at your boy. Let's start some motion. Let's get some motion going. Uh, but yeah, y'all go follow him. Follow me too, niggas on YouTube. Please follow me, bro. Y'all watching, but you're not following. I appreciate y'all. Um, but yeah, I ain't got nothing else to say. It is what it is. Uh, let's end the video on that.